identification for Almost Live provided by American Music. Report. Well, United Airlines has called Boeing's pilot training program for new jets extremely poor and termed Boeing dysfunctional. Boeing responded to the criticism by getting drunk, crying, and banging on the United Airlines bedroom window at 3 in the morning. <laughs> the Bothell City Council is considering changing the city's slogan they've had for years, Bothell for a day or a lifetime. The favorite suggestion so far is Bothell. Just keep going, we'll tell you why later. <laughs> Seattle Sonic Olden Polonese, who has a free throw career average of 50%, has promised to give $25,000 to the Make-A-Wish Foundation if he doesn't shoot at least 75% this season. In a related story, the Make-A-Wish Foundation has found a terminally ill child. Unfortunately, his only wish is to see Olden Polonese spend the entire season on the bench. <laughs> The Seattle, PI is it, the Seattle PI is soliciting first kiss stories from its readers for an upcoming Valentine's Day feature. Similarly, The Stranger is soliciting their readers for stories about the first time they were tied up and spanked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jerry Lewis fans are still fuming that except for former uh, British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, the celebrity, Seattle Celebrity Forum has canceled Lewis and all the rest of its originally scheduled speakers. The good news for Lewis fans, Thatcher plans to wear fake buck teeth and do a silly walk up to the podium. <laughs> a Port Angeles doctor who was found not guilty of killing his wife by reason of insanity last year wants to have his medical license reinstated. When asked about the wisdom of this action, the doctor said, hey, it was my wife who was making me insane. With her out of the picture, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Well, February is National Black History Month, and here with a report is our own David Scully. David? Thank you, John. I spent the past four weeks putting this story together about Black History Month. I've been getting people's reactions around town. So if we can roll the tape, Steve? Uh, David, I'm sorry. We seem to be experiencing technical difficulties. Hang on, we're almost ready. Uh, well... Um, since our time's limited, David, why don't you just, you know, give us a rough idea of the kinds of things that people were saying until the tape's ready. Like, who, who'd you talk to? Well, uh, a lot of people, John, black and white, uh, young and old. But, you know, I mean, what kinds of things did they have to say about Black History Month? Well, I can't just tell you, John. I have to show you. Uh, well, go ahead. Well, before I started gathering reactions, I decided to get a little background information on Black History Month. Professor Wigwack, why does Black History Month take place during February, the shortest month of the year? What many people don't remember, David, is that Black History Month originally started as Negro History Week, which took place in February to commemorate the birthdays of both Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln. It only became Black History Month in 1976. Now, I predict that since the story about Thomas Jefferson having children with his African-American slave Sally Hemings came out, more African-Americans will seek out their white relatives. And will white Americans search for their African-American relatives? Well, no, <laughs> of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Trial lawyer Tyrell Briggs had this reaction. After Washington State voted against affirmative action, how can we even think of celebrating? Well, did you vote, my brother? Uh, no, ma'am, but that's not the point. <laughs> Chris Rock, what will you be doing during Black History Month? I keep playing vote fields like I always do. On the one hand, I will tell white America that I would join the Ku Klux Klan, while on the other hand, I'll tell black America that I ain't saying that O.J. killed Nicole, but I understand. <laughs> and in my spare time, I ask God for forgiveness. <laughs> Folks in the more rural areas about town had these thoughts about Black History Month. I mean, do you gotta have the whole month? I mean, we don't have a white history month. <laughs> no, you had a white history century. <laughs> Now, don't you get militant on me. I didn't enslave your people. <laughs> Preacher Reverend Luther Tibbs, do you have a prayer for Black History Month? Oh, yes. 
Forgive them, O oh Lord, for making it the shortest month of the year. Forgive them, O oh Lord, for putting Chris Rock in white face. Forgive them, O oh Lord, for bringing up OJ in our face every time they get mad. And lastly, Lord, please forgive them for thinking that driving Miss Daisy, Gone with the Wind, and Pokey and Bess had any black fans. Hallelujah! <laughs> Letitia, Letitia Washington, a first grader at Wing Luke Elementary School, had this reaction. Man, what is the big deal? <laughs> I make black history every day. Deepak Chopra, give us your spiritual feelings about Black History Month. Well, you need to ask yourself how you feel about Black History Month, David. This device of releasing all of your frenetic voices under the pretense of technical difficulties is very, very sad. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> James Brown, godfather of soul, would you like to add anything? Man, ha, the word black has uh, always gotten a bad rap. Black market, black out, black bald, black male, black hole, black sheep, black Monday, black ice, black eye, and black plague. <laughs> but during Black History Month, we'll all, I say, we'll all, all and Maisie, all be in the black. Ha, kumbaya. <laughs> That ends my report on Black History Month. Well, thank you, David. Thank you very much. David Scully. Finally, the Bremerton Seattle Car Ferry and Foot Ferry both broke down last week, prompting commuters to complain bitterly and sign petitions for better service. Their actions brought quick response with the announcement of the new TCI Ferry Service. This has been a late report. Thank you. We'll be right back.